Ole, 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 oh, oh, ay, ole, 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 ay, <laughs> Cuban soda. Ole, 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 ay, Cuban soda. Yes, that's right. I got something here called Iron Beer. Iron Beer. Somebody sent this to me, uh, somebody from Florida. This is a Cuban uh, soft drink that's been around for over 100 years. Let's see. On a summer afternoon in 1917, a mule-drawn wooden wagon arrived at a popular cafeteria in Havana. It delivered the first four cases of a new soft drink that would soon become called an international beverage. Now, more than 80 years later, iron beer is still enjoyed for a refreshing flavor with just a hint of island spice. A lot can change over the years, but not the original flavor of iron beer. Look at this. This is, this was, uh, this is the type of uh, soda that Hyman Roth was drinking with Vito Corleone when they were running uh, moonshine down up and down the coast. So, here is the taste test for iron beer. A bubble let's see what this tastes like. Is it good or is it terrible? And just think, this is what Ricky was drinking when he met Lucy. Hmm. Now it's got a little bit of a bite to it. It's not too bad. A little bit of a unique flavor. <laughs> kind of tingles. Hmm. Yeah. I'm going to actually give this a little bit of a, a, a good rating. I'm going to give this an 8.1. 